everyone, my name is Amit Farkash and I'm very excited to be here. Thank you for all your support and I want to wish you happy Hanukkah. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kitshanu bemitzvotav, Vetzivanu ladlik ner shel Hanukkah. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher asah nisim lavoteinu, בימים ההם בזמן הזה. אמן. חג שמח. The threat from Gaza to Israel is on the land, but it's also at sea. I'm standing now on a naval base in Israel South, near Gaza. With me is Captain Erez. He works on a Dvora boat. So first, Captain Erez, thanks for joining us here on FIDF Live. It's my pleasure, thank you. Thank you for having me. So first of all, I want to ask you, what is your job exactly as a Dvora boat commander? As a patrol boat commander, I'm in charge of uh, basically preventing any terrorist attempts to penetrate our borders at sea with Gaza. Uh, while also protecting uh, civilians from terror attacks both at sea or onshore and defending Israel's uh, strategic infrastructures in the region, which are plenty. Um, and I'd say in addition, one of the main jobs of the Navy in general and our job as uh, patrol boats um, is to basically ensure the crucial freedom of, uh, of movement, both of commerce and of uh, ships, you know, merchant ships that are traveling with commerce to and out of Israel to allow import and export and basically control the financial and uh, territorial waters of Israel. Operation Guardian of the Walls. I know it was an intense period for you and your crew. Tell me what you were doing and what it was like. We are here to be a aggressive, reactive, defensive force um, in order to counter terrorism, whether it's at sea or on the shoreline and basically protect uh, our interests in the region. Now, during Operation Guardian of the Walls, we heard a lot about rockets, more than 4,000 rockets fired from Gaza at Israel. However, there were attacks at sea as well. For one of the first times ever, uh, Hamas used an underwater drone to try to penetrate uh, the border. And uh, during Operation Protective Edge in 2014, uh, Hamas commandos uh, came out of the water and tried to cross onto the beach in Israel. So first of all, is this a pattern that Hamas is using these techniques in water and how does the Navy respond? Well, you know, in 2014, uh, things were a lot different in the world in general. So obviously terrorist organizations also develop in accordance. So our threats become more vivid uh, and more uh, actual. Um, I'd say that, uh, you know, when dealing with terrorists, there's a multitude of uh, maritime threats. You know, it varies from uh, surface terrorist vessels uh, to drone strikes, underwater attacks, and even all the way up to rockets and missiles fired from Gaza Strip towards us at sea. Uh, and obviously the complexity um, and elusiveness of the medium in which we operate, which is the sea, um, basically amplifies those threats and demands us to increase our awareness uh, in readiness. And as you've mentioned, it's true, Hamas did try to launch an attack, an underwater attack, uh, during this operation, which the Navy, the Navy successfully neutralized uh, with help and use of the Air Force and uh, the Army Israel's collaboration. Um, and I'd say that at the end of the day, you know, terrorist organizations, they get more technological and more advanced, but so, so do we. And we have all the means necessary in order to protect our country, our people, and ourselves. The work of the Navy is crucial in part because Israel's water border is its longest border. It is. Um, I mean, the Navy operates on so many fronts, so professionally and so quietly. That's why you don't hear about it a lot. Um, and people go out, uh, you know, go to the beach on Saturdays uh, having fun. I go to the beach, I look at the water, and I see borders. I see the northern border with uh, Lebanon, Rosh I see the southern border with Gaza, and the Eilat with Jordan and Egypt. Um, I think the crews, the boats, the patrol boats, 
Uh, they, they all do such an amazing job 24 hours a day, seven days a week throughout the year, winter, summer, you name it. A lot of fronts, but also a lot of te technology, great technology, great people, great personnel and great backbone uh, and support from base. Uh, we can get the job done, it's okay. We'll handle it.